Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Again. Yeah, uh, I'm doing this third video in a row tonight uh, because backups are important. And so I'm definitely going to follow the advice of Rubber Ducky and back up the site, back it up hard, back it up now, make sure I can restore from my backups. So uh, let's get to it for the, th the second time tonight, backing up an SQL bus database. But this time we're going to be doing PostgreSQL. So let's get that out of the way and let's get started. Uh, where'd my terminal go? There it is. Okay, I'm, I'm in there. Okay, so um, <laughs> the reason I'm in this directory is actually I just switched this site over back to the PostgreSQL uh, database. It was running MySQL before. This is actually a different database backend, but same basic idea. Yeah. Anyway, everything else is the same. This is um, the Threes Wise Cats uh, Moodle, and it's working uh, fine. Um, we can actually go in there. And we say, okay, under reports. Uh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Server. If I go into environment, you'll see that I've got my um, my Postgres database is in there right now. I'm running version 11, which is good. So let's go and back that database up and then <laughs> let's destroy it. Okay, um, so uh, first of all, where to put the backups? Um, unlike MySQL, Postgres likes to run as the Postgres user. Uh, so the easiest way to do um, dumps, database dumps, you know, in MySQL is sudo MySQL dump. And as the root user, you can just uh, dump the contents. The easiest way to do this using Postgres, at least the easiest way I know of, is if you actually just become the um, Postgres uh, user. So sudo uh, u Postgres. Uh, you can execute commands as Postgres and you can go PSQL uh, to access the um, thing. And oh, I don't have my locale setting set up properly on the server. Don't worry about that. Um, it It's irrelevant to what we're doing today. <laughs> There's always something. Anyway, if I hit slash L, uh, backslash L, that will uh, show me my list of uh, users and who owns them, databases and who owns them. And you can see that this is the one that I'm interested in. It's uh, the database of Moodle with the owner of Moo user. And so this is the one I'll also be destroying later. So um, I'm going to exit from Postgres because now I've found out that my database name is Moodle. If you have a list of a whole bunch of them, please remember, go to config PHP and check which one is the active one on your site. Uh, double check it because if you back up the wrong database, heaven help you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so what we're going to do though is inside this three uh, slash SRV slash three folder, uh, I'm going to inside here, I'm going to make a new directory. Uh, and I'm going to call it SQL Backups. Uh, why not? Oh, and I kept those bit. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, now I have a, a file there. I have uh, a folder there that I can actually put stuff in. But I don't actually want this one to be a WW Data owned thing. What I do want is the permissions to be so that PostgreSQL can also um, access read, write, and whatever to the to this directory. Uh, otherwise, when I switch user to Postgres and execute the dump, it's going to say I don't have write permissions to that folder. So I do want my uh, Postgres user to be able to do that. So I'm just going to change the group. Yeah, I'm lazy, whatever. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. Uh, sudo change group. Uh, Postgres SQL backups. Okay, and now that has changed the group, but uh, I also need to go uh, change mode and I need to say group plus writeability uh, SQL backups as well. And now, now I've got Postgres is the group um, and it is RWX there. So um, Postgres can now have access to that, <coughs> that folder. So I can actually CD in there 
you can use the full path to do this, of course, but the next thing that I'm going to do is go PG, uh, or well, sudo dash U Postgres, and PG underscore dump, and uh, the database name was Moodle, and we can choose a few different kinds of formats. Um, I'm just going to go say Moodle dot back. All right. So I'll do this one. And uh, it's giving me that warning again, but it is actually just uh, doing that backup right now. So now if I LL in there, you can see that I've got this file here uh, called Moodle.back. Oh, it actually, ah, because it's after the, the um, Chevron there, yeah. Sorry, it has actually written it as uh, user Adam, so looks like I didn't really need the Postgres thing uh, for this time. But you will need that if you want to say, add this command, pg dump Moodle, uh, out, output to that. Um, you will need that if you're going to add this to say Postgres, uh, make a cron job under the Postgres user. Uh, so sudo dash u uh, Postgres uh, cron tab, uh, yeah, yeah, cron tab dash e. Um, I don't know, I'll just use nano. Anyway, uh, if you do want to add a cron tab in here, you can say, you know, uh, you know, 15, 4, like 4, 4 12, uh, every, um, every Monday. So something like that. And you can do your PG dump, uh, underscore dump, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can, you can do your command in like that. And if you were to do that, then, um, it will install the cron tab. And then that will actually take a Postgres, Postgres dump and put it in that file every week for you. So that can be pretty useful. Um, MySQL ones, I also, I actually did. Yeah, uh, um, I did actually, um, in the MySQL one, I did uh, put it through, pipe it through to um, uh, gzip to zip it up and you can of course do that with uh, the Postgres ones as well. There is some documentation on the net that actually says that if you use the .bak extension that Postgres PG dump will figure out that you're um, doing that and turn it into a compressed binary. Yeah, I don't think so. This does not look very compressed binary to me. This, this looks more like uh, plain text. So if you want to actually uh, run that through, you know, uh, gzip again, gzip-9, pipe it into there and put it out. That's another way of taking your backup. But anyway, um, I did describe that a bit in the MySQL version. So if you want to check that out, check, check that out there so I don't have to repeat myself here and I get more views. So yay. Uh, <laughs> that's so terrible, isn't it? I'm, I'm evil. I know. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. Okay, um, so the next thing that we want to do is destroy that database uh, and then use the backup to revert from that database. So again, I'm going to go um, straight into my Postgres my PSQL uh, prompt there. And um, if I get my list up there again, uh, so... Um, what I do want to do is drop db, db moodle. All right, drop db moodle. Now let's list it. Oh, it's still there. Oh. Ah, oh, I'm at the. Mm. No, drop DB. Moodle. I think I'm getting my stuff confused here. 
Um, you can actually uh, drop DB Moodle and that should do it from the command line as well actually. So uh, there are certain commands that you can run from the command line with Postgres. And you can see as a result of dropping the database, the uh, database connection has completely failed now. And I need to create a database again. And uh, yep, it's about that time of the night. I should be knocking off. So instead of drop DB, I want to create a DB Moodle. And um, I don't need the semicolon at the end there. And that will, um, as the database user, create an, an empty database for Moodle. So if I go to uh, the Moodle um, uh, if I went to the Moodle uh, page now, it would be, you know, install a new Moodle. So uh, next stage that I want to do is to actually send um, all of those um, commands into the Moodle that we've actually got. So I'm going to use the P P P P PSQL um, command once more. And I'm going to go Moodle, because that's the database that we just created. And I'm going to send into that again, with this time it is pointing in, it's pointing that way, because we're going into PostgreSQL, and my backup file. You get all this cool feedback, yay, zippity doo da, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and that has reverted our database. And voila, it's back again. So that's you know, fairly simple, right? Drop the database, it dies. And then you create the database again, recreate it new and it'll be empty. And actually if I refresh this now, you see, it's it's like install new Moodle uh, because it's got no data in it. It's an empty database, right? And then put all the data back. And this time, you refresh the page, and it says, "Hang on a minute, you're 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 already there." So what's what's going? Okay, so there we go. Okay, so uh, that's it for PostgreSQL. Um, definitely on on your own server as well. Try a few different things. Um, you know, try it, practice it. Rehearse, rehearse your backups. Uh, like the rubber ducky is saying, you know, make sure you can restore you for your Moodle from your backup, because this is what will save you. Um, the only way I know to ensure that you don't actually lose data, that you don't, your, your Moodle doesn't completely break down and you, you know, uh, basically drop your Moodle is to have backups. Backups are important. They're incredibly important. I have seen people, you know, saying on some of the comments saying, oh, I don't need a backup for this. You need a backup for everything. Um, you need a backup just to exist. Everybody needs backups. So make sure that you're fully backed up. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time.